Hi, Terry Beloga, Charlotte, North Carolina, Metro Realtor with Sassy Chicks Real Estate Group. I see a lot of videos and a lot of talk about what it costs to get into a home with a mortgage. Um, the talk is about your mortgage fees, the different types of mortgages, etc. But I don't really see anybody talking about what other out-of-pocket expenses that you might have in order to purchase a home in North Carolina. In 2011, the North Carolina Real Estate Commission changed a few things um, in our contract to benefit the buyers and the sellers. So one of the things that we have in our contract is earnest money. Earnest money is the fee or the amount of money that you offer up front that shows how serious you are in to purchase this home. That money is held with the attorney in their escrow account. And when you get to closing, that money is credited back to you. The second thing we have is due diligence. Due diligence started in 2011. That's what North Carolina Real Estate Commission changed. The due diligence is a fee that you pay up front to have the benefit of walking away from a contract if you find something about the house that you don't like, if there's an issue, um, if there is an issue with your loan. We negotiate this due diligence period in the contract up front. So you have 14 days, 21 days, 28 days, whatever it's going to take for you to do your due, due diligence, which could be um, your home inspection, your pest inspection, your well inspections, your um, septic inspection. Um, if you have a home inspection done and the inspector comes back and says, mm, maybe the roof is not in such good shape, you might wanna have a roof inspection done by um, a licensed roofer. So this is your period, the due diligence period is your period of time to do any due diligence that you need to do on that property to make sure that you want to move forward. If you don't want to move forward by the, before the end of that due diligence period is over, which the date is specified in the contract, you have the right to walk away. That money stays with the seller. You lose that money no matter what, unless you go to closing. If you go to closing, you close on the property, that money also is credited back to you.